Hey everybody, I'm back up here in my shop this evening. Um, I wanted to share with you some experiences that I've had and some knowledge that I've gained over buying a table saw recently. I was looking, I was in the market for one, and I ended up finding this one which is three phase, and now they have single phase in my garage. So, I was trying to figure out different ways I could generate three phase power, and there are a few different ways. There's rotary phase converters, static phase converters and VFDs. I ended up going with VFD and you know that's not always the right way for different people, different applications. I'm going to try to go over all of that and help you learn the benefits of each one of those and hopefully you can make an educated decision on what would work for you and your shop. All right, so the first phase converter I'm going to talk about is a static phase converter. You know, these are pretty simple. They consist of, you know, it's normally multiple start capacitors and the start relay. Um, how they work is with the starting capacitors, it'll fulfill that third leg, you know, and make it three phase for the starting. Then after the motor is started, that third leg kind of cuts out as the capacitor is drained down then you're basically running on two phases and your third leg is kind of non-existent after that. Um, the nice thing about these is they're simple. You know, there's not a whole lot to them. You get the phase converter mounted up, wired in, and you're pretty much good after that and it's ready to go. But since you lose that third leg when you're running the motor, you only get two thirds of the horsepower. <clears throat> So at that point, I kind of chose not to go that route because I want to be able to have full horsepower on the saw when I'm running. Um, but it is an option, and I've looked them, I looked around for them, and I've seen them anywhere from around $150, maybe $200, but they're not too expensive. And, you know, in some cases, like I said, this might be your best option. All right, so the next phase converter I'm gonna talk about is a rotary phase converter. Um, the way they work is you have your single phase motor that turns a three phase motor, and it basically works like a generator. So as your three phase motor is turned by the single phase motor, that produces three phase power. And the nice thing about this is you get, you truly get all like full power from this, unlike your static phase converter where you kind of, where it loses a leg after the motor is started. The rotary phase converter does not lose a leg and it stays, it's three phase while it's running. You know, and this is really nice for setups where you, you know, where it's in a shop where you have a table saw, a milling machine, a lathe, and you have multiple things that you have to run. You know, where a, st a static phase converter or a VFD, you're gonna to have to have everything rewired or you're gonna to have to have multiple phase converters. With the rotary phase converter, you can just have one good sized one and that'll work for your whole shop. Um, they are kind of expensive, which is why I didn't go that route. I think, you know, you're looking upwards of a thousand dollars or more, depending on what size, because I mean, if you're going to do one for your whole shop, you're going to want to be able to expand too. So you're not going to want to do a rotary phase converter that just runs your table saw. I mean, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with it but it's just not that cost effective. Um, I mean, if you're gonna be running your table saw every day of the week and it's very important for you to have the simplicity of one and, you know, have full power of it, you know, maybe that is the option for you. Um, but like I said, they are great. They're kind of expensive, but they work very good. You know, that is probably the, you know, the best type of phase conversion that you can do, at least for a shop that I would think. Um, but like I said, it's kind of expensive. <clears throat> All right, so lastly is the VFD, which that's what I decided to go with for my project and my circumstance. Um, this is one, of, one I went with. It's a three horsepower, um, one phase input, three phase output. And Soyan Power is the brand. I got it from Amazon. After this, I'm going to do a video of me installing it and programming on the table saw here. That'll be coming up here in probably two or three days once I get everything together that I need, all the wire and everything. 
But the reason why I went with the VFD is the programming parameters and how much I can control it. I want to be able to adjust the ramp up time, the ramp down time. And I didn't really like the static phase converters because if you're losing so much power and you're technically single phase in the motor, once you know, like once it's up and running, um, you do have like in the static, you have your three phase to start. But and the affordability of VFD was pretty good. Uh, I ended up spending a little over hundred dollars on Amazon. For my next video, I'll try to post a link up so you guys can see which one I did or which one I bought and installed on this. But overall, I think the VFD is going to work good for me. Uh, it's great for, you know, if you're just going to do one motor, the VFD is going to be good. Since the VFD has the ability to speed up and slow down motors, it doesn't necessarily have to be used for a single phase to three phase conversion. You know, if you have a single phase motor that you're planning on running, you know, if it's something like a drill press or anything like that, the VFD could really help you out. You know, if you're drilling a bigger hole, you're going to want the drill press speed, to be, or the motor speed, to be lower. Uh, but for mine, I probably won't adjust the frequency a whole lot. I'll adjust the speed up and slow down and current limiting. Other than that, I probably won't do a whole lot with the programming. But, like I said, in my following video, I will try to really show you guys how to go through it and how to program it. And hopefully that helps you out if you're going to be doing this down the road too. Overall, I hope this video helped you. Hopefully it educated you a little bit on trying to figure out what type of phase converter that you could use. Um, like I said, the rotary phase converter is probably the best for a shop. Um, from the research I did, American Rotary seemed to be a very good brand. So I would probably look at them first if you're going to be in the market for one. And now it's raining, so I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Every time I try to record, it starts pouring. And I'm in my garage with a metal roof, so it gets really loud. But anyways, with the Rotary phase converter, the ones that I looked at that seemed really good were the American Rotary. I'm sure there are plenty of other brands out there that are great, but if you're in the market for one, that's kind of the place I'd try to look at first. For the static phase converters, they're not good for doing your whole shop, but for, you know, if you're just running one motor on it, you know, they're pretty good. Where they're pretty simple, they're straightforward, um, you do lose some power with it, but they're pretty cost effective too. So, and like I said, the final thing that I ended up going with was a VFD. So hopefully this helped you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, comment. You know, if you like this video, like it. I'm trying to build this YouTube account up. So if there's anything you see that I could do better, hey, comment, let me know. So thanks for watching.